Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Jackery Explorer 5000 Plus home backup system with the Smart Transfer Switch. We're going to be going over how to set up installation for the Smart Transfer Switch, connecting all the components, and then finally operating the home backup system using the Jackery app. Step 1, setting up installation of your Smart Transfer Switch. Installation should be done by a professional or somebody knowledgeable with home electrical systems. Any certified electrician should be able to install the smart transfer switch, but to simplify the process, Jackery has provided resources for you to find an electrician near you and schedule your installation. Once you receive the 5000 plus and the smart transfer switch, head to the official website to fill out the provided questionnaire and begin the process. If you'd like to use your own electrician or do it yourself, you can find the user guide and installation videos on the website. Step two is connecting the components. Okay, so at this point you should have your smart transfer switch installed and connected to your home electrical panel. Now we're going to connect the Explorer 5000 Plus to the STS. Make sure the power is off and the unit is not charging or discharging. Then connect the cord from the E5000 Plus to the STS. Once connected, make sure to lock the power cable so it doesn't accidentally get disconnected. Now we're going to connect the battery pack to the E5000 Plus, again making sure everything is off. First, connect the Type A end of the expansion cable to the Type A interface of the 5000 Plus. Then connect the Type B plug of the expansion cable to the Type B interface of the battery pack. To ensure proper ventilation and heat dissipation, the spacing on both sides of the Jackery 5000 Plus main unit should be greater than 30 centimeters or 12 inches. If you're using two sets of E5000 Plus units, the distance between the two should be greater than 91 centimeters or 36 inches at the back of the unit. The Explorer 5000 Plus can support up to five expansion packs all connected with the expansion cable. Be sure not to stack any expansion packs on top of the E5000 Plus and for safety purposes, stack up to three battery packs high. Once you have your E5000 Plus connected to the SDS and the plugs are locked and you have all your expansion battery packs connected to the E5000 Plus, it's time to turn it on. The E5000 Plus display will indicate that you are connected to a smart transfer switch here and that you have expansion packs here. You'll know when the STS is connected properly to the E5000 Plus when you see the green light indicated. So there's four different ways to charge the E5000 Plus. The first one is going to be off the grid via the STS. Number two is going to be using the classic AC plug. This method should only be used when the E5000 Plus is not connected to the STS. Number three is going to be using low voltage solar panels and four is going to be high voltage solar panels. The Solar Saga 500X solar panel is a low voltage high efficiency solar panel with 500 watt output. It's built by combining six Jackery Solar Saga 85 solar panels, each of which can be individually used. To assemble the Solar Saga 500X, you will need the six Solar Saga 85 panels, solar charging cable, install hardware, hinges, and the ground stakes. The install hardware includes the hex key, compass carabiner, Anderson rubber plug, and screws. The front of the solar panel has the junction box. Start with two vertical panels. Use a bracket to connect the two from the back. Screwing in using the provided hex screws from the front. Once attached, you can plug in the Anderson connector. Repeat this process until all six panels are connected. The bracket will alternate from being installed from the back of the panels to the front. Finally, install the Anderson rubber plugs on either side of the solar panel. Now you're ready to secure it to the ground and plug it into your Explorer 5000 Plus. When finished, fold up the Solar Saga 500X and use the carrying case to store the panels. To use the high voltage solar input, always keep it in the off or lock position. To keep it in the lock position, simply turn the switch and push down on the lock mechanism. This allows you to put a small lock in the bottom of the switch so it can't be tampered with. To switch to the off position, simply release the tension, pull up on the mechanism, 
and release it. To install a high voltage solar panel, make sure the switch is in the off position and then simply connect your MC4 connectors in the proper slots. Once they are connected, you can turn the high voltage switch to the on position. To disconnect the MC4 connectors of the high voltage solar input, first turn the switch to off, then use the provided MC4 wrench to release the catches of the plug. So we've installed the smart transfer switch, we've connected the Explorer 5000 Plus and the expansion battery packs, and we know how to charge them. Let's learn how to operate the system using the Jackery app. First, download the Jackery app to your phone. Then bind both the E5000 Plus and the STS using the app. And connect to Wi-Fi. Open the E5000 Plus on the Jackery app. First turn on and set up UPS mode. When the 5000 Plus is used in backup UPS mode, Without a smart transfer switch, the 5000 Plus has a switch time of 20 milliseconds. When online UPS mode is enabled, the switch time is reduced to 0 milliseconds. When UPS mode is enabled on the STS during a power outage, the STS will automatically switch the power supply to the 5000 Plus within 20 milliseconds. If the STS is charging the power station at that time, the switch time will be longer than 20 milliseconds. Once power is restored, it will automatically switch back to the grid supply. In non-UPS mode, the switch time is approximately 3 seconds if the power station is turned on. The STS will remain on when connected to the power station, so it is recommended not to manually turn off the power station. You can also set up a charging plan. See when the power station is charging or in UPS mode on the front screen. Next, you can set up the backup reserve. The more backup reserve energy, the more energy available during a power outage. The less backup reserve energy, the more energy available for daily use. When the power station is discharging during normal operations, the battery will discharge until it reaches the backup reserve. However, during a power outage, it'll discharge until it hits the limit at 0%. For self-power mode and charging discharging mode, you can lower the backup reserve to a lower number like 25% to make more power available for daily use. The backup priority feature allows you to choose which fuses are essential during an outage. All fuses marked as must-have circuits will be prioritized and remain on. The nice-to-have circuits will remain active until the backup reserve power reaches 20%, and the non-essential circuits will be disconnected to preserve power for the other circuits. The Energy Usage Statistics page will show you your power consumption during the day, week, month, and year. You can also see statistics on backup power usage and solar power generated. Now you can control each individual fuse from your phone, charge on command from the grid, and switch your power from the grid to the Jackery Home Backup. So that's going to wrap up setting up your Explorer 5000 Plus Home Backup System. For additional videos and resources, be sure to check out the Jackery website or contact the Jackery support team.